Hi, welcome to a new Plugin Guru video. My name is John Skippy Limco. Hands together, head bowed. Welcome. Nice to see you. Hey, so Unify 2 demo is out and is available for you to try out and get to see the power of Unify 2 in action. It's really impressive to play with. Um, we've I've set up my computer here in a way as if I was a Unify 1 user because we've got an email from a number of people saying, I can't wait to try the demo to play with it just to confirm some things before I buy the upgrade. So we have, it's available. I just want to give you a walkthrough demo. Uh, if you're starting from scratch, you, you won't have Unify 1 to deal with, but it's the same process. Uh, the, the, the point is that nothing in Unify 1 is changed or affected. I still have Cloud City Library here working for me as I'm, right? So I'm going to quit Unify 1, and I'm going to go over here. This is the download for the demo. And I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to run the installer and say continue, continue. Yes, 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 yes. We just want to install. Thank you very much. Move this over here. And just like this, it installs the most, it ha well, it installs, let's just call it half, because you need the patches and the samples, because <laughs> it's, it's a unify two, run, and it goes up. Hello, I'm Unified 2, how are you doing? And you've got information here as to how it works. It runs for about 15 minutes and the audio stops. The interface is still there, but you'll need to quit and run it again. And then the audio is back. And then after 15 minutes, it will stop again. We want it to be long enough, you can evaluate. There's no noise bursts or any unexpected things. You just get time to work with it for 15 minutes at a time. Uh, there's no saving of patches which you're going to want to do really quickly once you start playing with it. Um, no saving into your DAW, uh, song files and stuff like that. It's just for evaluation to play with and go, oh, I didn't know I could do this with my plugins. Okay, I need this tool. <laughs> that's that's kind of the mindset you end up having after playing with it. It's, it's, it's really, really fun. So hit OK, and you get the nice little interface of Unify 2. Each time you hit the initialize button, it calls up a different image. <laughs> that we have from a pool of fun pictures of Unified 2 and cool places. Now let's go back here to the finder because we want to use this .guru file. All you have to do is drag this uh, guru file over Unified 2 and say, okay, there it is. And just like that, we have it working. Now, if you don't have MIDI on your keyboard or it's not coming out in your speakers, the way to set and fix that is to go to the settings cog right here, hit audio MIDI settings right here, hit change, and here's your settings. And I, I don't have inputs turned on, so I'm going to turn those on. If these don't show up, you might need to toggle the input. If you have a uh, hardware device that's compatible with inputs and outputs that you want to test out and see how they work, here's your MIDI out. So you can choose which port it sends MIDI to. If you want to take and work with this inside of uh, some of the, the way it works is that each layer has this little MIDI icon you can turn on and now it's sending out that port, whatever is happening MIDI effect wise and so forth. And then you go over here to the transmit and you could change this to any MIDI channel to correspond with the specific synth. Like you could have one MIDI port that's by using MIDI in and through configured to a whole bunch of different synthesizers, each on its own MIDI channel. So different layers could actually be talking to different synthesizers in your room. You engage the MIDI out facility right here with a little picture right there. Uh, the input is right here. You'll notice if I choose an input right now, I don't hear my voice because it takes two things. The input has to be set and the instrument. And if this instrument, <laughs> hi, Goose Hampler too. If this instrument was set to the sine wave player, which is, I don't think it's in the list. There it is. If this is set to sine wave player and I go over here and I go from none to one, you'll see that it will automatically change to the input. It's the only plugin that this happens with. Any other plugin, it's told not to do this auto change. I'm going to say put this to the left so now it's in both speakers. So there I am, my microphone, going through these effects and everything like that. <laughs> Pretty cool. Uh, let's see. So let's see. We're done with this. We can close that. Okay, so if you want to have plugins, let's say I wanted to let Serum or something like that be used, and so I would go back to the cog and you go over to the plugin page. And here you have this list. 
Notice that there's 101 plugins inside of Unify 2 that are part of everything that it ships with and installs with. It's pretty, pretty phenomenal. Uh, then you go to the operations and you can go here to select plugin files to scan if you want to just choose one file. If you want to scan everything, if you have a lot of plugins, it's going to take a while. Uh, it might take more than 15 minutes, but that's why we let the operation keep running even if the audio stops. So it'll keep scanning in the background uh, for things. Uh, but I, I, I actually recommend just using something like this to just choose one plugin. You also can do another cool way. If this plugin page is open, you can actually go to the plugin window. Let's see here. Let me go over here to where I have it showing something like this. So let's go over here. Let's say I want to play with Serum. So here is Serum 2. So we say boom. So I've got Serum 2 added. So I go back here. If I want, I can go to this and I click right here. And when you go to swap all instruments, extra records, Serum 2 is here. All right, the metronome was playing. Just a click right now. We'll talk about that in a minute. But what's fun is this. So let's go over here. Let's say let's duplicate this for another layer. Call up Serum 2. Go to another patch. Maybe I want to put an audio effect on this so I could go to something like Pump House. And instead of this shape, I want it to be the opposite. So I'm just going to grab this really quick and go like this. And I'm going to set it to be 16th beats. And I want to have a knob doing this for me so I don't have to sit here and do that because it's a cool effect. It's what I want. So we have knobs right here. If I go over here and I hit the little ear, I can go to any plugin. Uh, let's go back to Pump House and move this and it grabs it. So now and I can just hit the run button and now it's And if I want the curve to be a little bit differently, if I wanted to add breakpoints to have it doing more than, you can do that. Anyway, you get the idea of the power. So play with the knobs, the fact that they can now, by just clicking on this, they can be automating, they can be changing parameters in any plugin that's loaded inside of Unify. You can even have this one knob controlling multiple parameters to multiple plugins. It's disgusting power. It really is because it, to say that into a patch is, is really cool. The other thing that's really fun to play with are these three boxes right here. If you have it at this little load normal mode, this lets you load, let's say we go to like a, like a, these, Paul made this really, really cool. Really, really cool patches using Guru Sampler 2. Really expressive and dynamic. So do a search for GS2 right here. And if you do that, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of nice patches to try. Uh, most of those were ones Paul made that are really, really fun. Change this mode to this middle mode. And now I could say I want to have the happy string pluck. I want that pluck to be up an octave. So I just go over here, this bottom left corner on the, on the layer is transpose. So I just say plus 12. And then I want to go down here to some dream strings. So I add those. And again, it's too low. So let's have it where we open this up and say go up an octave. Now, we have this new metronome, and if you right-click on this, it opens up the metronome that's currently set to a groove. So if I just turn on the metronome, and let's say it slows down because I'm doing kind of stuff in this slower tempo. So. You have a groove to jam with. So the metronome, it's a really cool new feature we added so that you can Make something that can be a tempo to follow. It's not just a click in your ears. It's MIDI files, being able to play and do whatever you want. Very creative. Here's the recording feature. Hit record. Hit stop.
stop and then just right click on the record and that will pop up the folder that that sound was recorded into. I didn't record the metronome, but this is just the piano. There it is. So play with it, have fun, get a feel for how this works. There's so many cool things. There's a play page over here where you see things without the editor and all that kind of stuff. You can see that there's a whole bunch of cool images. So if you want a cool imagery up that is different than what you saw before, you can do that. You can darken it. You can do all sorts of color controls. If you want the knobs to be different colors, you can go over here to this and say, set the macros to a different color. And you can say, I want to be this. Go save as the default color. And now each patch that you go to, you now have green knobs. So uh, we made it really, really fun to play with. It's a, it's a fun place for all of your plugins to hang out. And um, yeah, so enjoy the demo. Uh, if you hurry, we've got a little bit of time left on the introductory pricing. And then it, after that, it's $69 to upgrade from Unify 1. And Unify 2 is $149. Okay, so thank you for your time. Enjoy the demo and we'll see you later. Hey, so it's post editing, Skippy. Um, I've installed the full version of Unify, you know, Unify 2 now. And I just want to point out one thing. Um, when you install the library, it asks for where it wants to have its home base, which can be on your internal hard drive or your external hard drive. That's pretty basic. If you want, you can go over the top of your existing Unify 1 library. They can work in harmony. There's a handful of patches that won't load into Unify 1. Chances are you won't be using Unify 1 in your creative process. Unify 1 is sticking around mainly for songs that already use Unify 1. And those will load fine no matter what you do to your home folder, right? But I want to point out one thing. If you have not done this, there's one folder of data that this demo uses that needs to be deleted. If you, It doesn't have to be deleted. But it's 77 megabytes you might want back. <laughs> it's not, not, not even that much memory in 2025, right? But if you go to your users shared on the Mac, the, you'll see that there is a Plugin Guru demo folder. You can search on your PC for that to find this folder. That's no longer being referenced by Unify 2 or Unify 1. So you can just delete that. You're good. Uh, in the Applications folder, by the way, this is where you get to the Unify and the Unify 2 folders. That's where you find the standalone application for Unify 2 to use if you want to run this in standalone, which is wonderful because then you're not in a DAW. That's that's where it is hanging out, is inside the applications folder, okay? So anyway, I just wanted to point out that folder can go bye-bye. All right, thanks.